So we're here with Sanjay Barry, the founder and CEO of Netscope, an amazing company, really in a, a strong position in the marketplace. Sanjay, you had uh, an amazing uh, vision over 10 years ago when you started Netscope. Uh, tell us about your vision then and your vision now. Absolutely. When I think about the vision that we had, one, we realized what was happening in the world. And it's best encapsulated with the two words, digital transformation. And the reality is that that transformation would lead to the transformation of your security and networking. And specifically, it would lead to this notion of having a virtual perimeter where you enable direct to internet access, cloud access, mobile access. And in many cases, your network became that cloud. That converged security and networking cloud, which delivered your security services and spoke the new language of the internet while protecting your data. That was Netsco's vision. Nine years in, Gartner stamped a term on it called SASE and SSE. And we view ourselves really as the mothers and fathers of SASE. Why are people coming to Netscope in such a difficult uh, technical cyber environment? Well, number one, there was a CIO who once told me, Sanjay, I don't want to throw more bad money after bad money. And what he meant by that is, look, I got all this existing functionality that I've invested in for the past 10 years, boxes on-prem, proxies on-prem, data loss systems. The reality is they don't work in this new way that the world works. They don't enable direct internet. It bypasses that. They don't enable cloud apps. They don't understand how cloud apps work. Um, and they don't enable me to transform so that I can be more agile. And so I need to transform my infrastructure. And to do that, I need to move some, to something that is really what Netscope offers, which is a SASE. And so I view it as helping them transform digitally, put good money to work for the now and for the future, and set themselves up really to have a competitive advantage in how they operate their business. And that's really what we're delivering. Sanjay, you got a great vote of confidence recently from Goldman Sachs and from Morgan Stanley. Uh, you're, you guys are doing amazing work with current companies, current clients, and future clients. Uh, your growth is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, look, for us and how I think about a company is it starts with your culture and your team. And I feel very proud that we have built such a great, collaborative, innovative culture uh, and very transparent, we brought on great leaders who espouse that culture and drive it. And I think, you know, while you look beyond the financial metrics, which is obviously what people look at when they invest, you look at the TAM, how big this market is, 30 plus billion. And you look at the fact that we're a leader, right, in the top right of, you know, every quadrant you'll see. One of the big differentiators that isn't talked about is the culture. We're building a long lasting culture with a long lasting team that really can scale to become, in our view, one of the most impactful cyber networking companies in the world. And, and that's why Morgan Goldman and the plethora of others sort of that uh, joined us on the journey um, really do join us because that's a big, big piece of it. Sanjay, you nailed it. It's all about people and culture, right? That the people is the hardest part. Where do you learn such deep insights about the importance of culture and leadership? Well, one, you live it. I mean, look, I started my career way back when I got off a bus when I was 18, dropped in a new city, and uh, I went to go find <laughs> my small apartment, which turned out to be two miles away where I had to walk. And I started my journey way back then, experiencing different cultures, big companies, working out of Microsoft, small companies, you know, mid-sized companies. And they all had, you know, good traits and they had bad traits. And what I realized through all of that is I also drove teams and built them is that, frankly, one of the most powerful things I think you can convey to your teams, one of the most powerful things in any company is that you be very clear on what your culture is and you hire that way, right? And so for me, I learned it. I learned it through the trials and tribulations, you know, of the industry. And I came out with of all of that saying, you know, this is the way I want to do it, right? I want to be open, collaborative, innovative. I want to drive hard and be impactful. Um, and I want to do that the right way. And so, you know, being and building your own company, you have that ability to do that. And, and so I feel, you know, very happy that we stay true to that. Great stuff. I hear great things from all of your uh, team members. Uh, they love you and they think your vision is amazing. When you think about being a visionary leader, you truly are a visionary leader. What do you think about most and what inspires you? Yeah, I think, you know, what inspires me is actually one, learning from my people. I mean, you know, the reality is that 
Um, I often say you become a CEO when <laughs> you aren't good at necessarily any of the other areas. But uh, what you are good at is understanding, empathizing, pointing in the right direction, driving um, towards that direction, and, and really focusing on your culture. And I really, one of the things that inspires me is, you know, learning from the people that we um, drive, that are leaders in the company and what they do and how they operate. Uh, it really is thrilling to wake up every day and work hand in hand with these folks. And they aren't just in our company. These are CIOs and CISOs and CTOs, folks like yourself, others who frankly have great experiences out there in the world that are nice enough, kind enough to work and partner and share. And I'm a big believer in the industry that sharing, we all have a common enemy. We know who it is. Those who want our data, those who want to attack us, those who want to bring us down, insiders or nation states or beyond. And, you know, working together to do that um, and learning from people, it's a big inspiration. Great stuff. Any tips on inspiring your team members that you can go further on? Yeah, I would say one is when you when you look at your team members, everybody's a little different. But one is they want to wake up every day and they want to think, am I having an impact? Right. They have an impact in their personal lives and often personal and professional blur. But they want to work on something that has an impact in the world. And I remember sitting in one of my all hands and one of the largest farmers in the world stood up and said, I wouldn't be able to distribute the vaccine without you having protected the data that we had. When you have another organization that stands up and says, hey, the way every doctor in the world gets their data delivered instantly to their iPad securely is through Metsco. Um, and you look at financial services and you go beyond, that's impact, right? You're, and if you can draw what you're doing and what they're building and what they're selling, and you can make that connection to what in their heart they see and feel and read every day, right? That gets them. And that's one of the big things I think you need to do to motivate people is um, make that connection. Back to uh, being a leader in the sassy space. How did you have that vision? How did you have that visionary leadership back 10, 12 years ago to say, hey, that's the future? Yeah, it's a great question. So I, I like to say I live in the trenches. I love to work and spend time with CXOs, CIOs, CTOs, you know, at least two of them a day. And the reality is if you do that and you understand both what's on the ground, and you understand the macro trends, um, you will come up very clearly with what needs to happen in the industry. I mean, I'll tell you, nine, 10 years ago, when I went to folks and said, look, people are going to leverage cloud, they're going to work remote, they're going to access mobile devices, and guess what? Their existing infrastructure is not going to be able to understand that. Um, and so we're going to build this new cloud-based uh, frontier. Uh, a lot of, you know, 99% of people said I was crazy. And the, what... And why I said, okay, you know, great input. Thanks for the feedback. Um, and why I stayed true to it was I had my nose to the ground and I understood as well what was happening in the broad industry. Um, and that that really is what's needed. You need both sides of that sandwich um, to really build and point yourself in the right direction. Hey, Sanjay, give us a day in the life or a week in the life. What do you, where do you spend most of your time and what's most important to you as you look at both your organization and your global customer, global network of customers? Yeah, so one, I spend um, a significant amount of my time with customers and prospects on the ground meeting them. Today alone, yesterday, three hours, one of the largest banks in the world, networking and security teams. Um, so one is you got to spend time with the people that you're trying to help and that you're trying to partner with. Um, and there is no substitute for that. You imparting information, you learning. So that's one. I like to spend a significant amount of time around the world doing that. Two is with my team, right? Helping them, enabling them, right? That's what you're there for as a CEO. You're there to help them, enable them to, you know, to get the most out of their group and themselves. And so working with them to see how I can knock down any barriers for them, enable them. Three, always looking to recruit the right folks. I mean, we are recruiting and, you know, that is the lifeblood of your company is your people. And so spend time with the top people and the top candidates and looking at your organization and what you need to do. Fourth, as a CEO at our scale, right, which could be public right now, look, you do spend time externally with, frankly, the investor community, the analyst community, and beyond. And that's important, right? Because obviously one of your jobs is to make sure that they have a reasonable understanding of what you're doing. And so, you know, customers, internal with your team, prospects, you know, external, the financial investor and beyond side. And then, of course, look, I, I'm a big believer that the, the best tech leaders understand the industry. And so, you know, spending time on product 
and understanding, making sure we're pointing ourselves in the right direction, what's coming next, anticipating what customers will need. Um, that's a big, big piece of it. And so, so those are some of the areas uh, spread across the go-to-market um, and what I would call the corporate and the product side. Sanjay, truly inspiring visionary leadership. How do you define winning? <laughs> How do I define winning? Well, I think when you think about winning, I always tell people you want to win the right way. And that comes back to your culture. I want to wake up every day, which I do fired up, knowing I make an impact for this company. And I'm doing it in a transparent, honest way. I'm winning the right way, meaning, you know, there's a lot of ways that people, you know, try to win. And for us, staying true to our culture and winning in that way is right. You're not going to see us throwing a bunch of FUD out there in the market. You won't see us, you know, using you know, guerrilla tactics on how do we get to customers? I mean, um, I just, that wouldn't, in my heart, that wouldn't work. And so um, for us, for me, winning is winning. It's great, but doing it the right way, um, in my view, is most important. And I know, by the way, sometimes when you're sitting in front of folks who are hammering you on your XYZ metrics and so on, they don't necessarily, it's not what they want to hear about, right? Doing it the right way. But when you are a founder and you build your own company, um, what matters is when you put your head on the pillow that uh, you feel good about it. And so for me, it's very important um, that you win and you, you win the right way. Sanjay, great words, truly inspiring. Your our top pick, my top pick for the 2024 HMG Global Leadership Institute CEO, founder, technology executive year award of the year. So congratulations. Thank you, Hunter. Very much appreciated and great to talk to you as always.